At the end of August, India made headlines by becoming the first country to land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole. In a previously unexplored area, a few weeks later, a satellite to study the sun was sent into space. With many more projects to come, India has become a major space power over the decades. But how has it done so? And what is its objective? That's what we're going to tell you today. So get ready for an incredible journey into space. India began developing its space technology in earnest in 1969 with the founding of ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization. It soon became the pride of the country for its resource management and economic approach to space development. As a result, the Indian nation was quickly able to carry out important missions. Before turning to space exploration, the main objective was to make daily life easier for the Indian population. The first satellite, Bhaskara-1, was sent into space 10 years after the creation of ISRO, followed in 1981 by Bhaskara-2. Both were designed to observe the Earth and collect data on the hydrological network, force, and geology. It was then decided to develop the National Remote Sensing Satellite Program, with the first satellite launched in 1988, named Indian Remote Sensing, aka IRS. The aim here was to help the national economy by collecting data on the environment and natural resources. In 2001, a series of communication satellites, called GSAT for Geosynchronous Satellite, was launched with the intention of improving communication services in the country. At the same time, ISRO developed its own launchers, such as the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV, and the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, GSLV. This has reinforced India's image as a space technology powerhouse. From 2013 onwards, the country launched interplanetary missions, the first of which took place on Mars. It's called the Mars Orbiter Mission, also known as Mangalyaan. India becomes the fourth nation in the world to reach Mars, as well as the first Asian country to place a satellite in orbit around the planet. A real breakthrough. It's also worth noting that ISRO has been developing a long-term vision for its space program since its inception. This has led to some impressive feats. India really made history on August 23, 2023 with its Chandrayaan-3 rocket, which means lunar ship in Sanskrit, and which successfully completed a controlled lunar landing. It's equipped with a landing module named Vikram, meaning valor, and a mobile robot called Pragyan, meaning wisdom. The latter is designed to explore the moon's surface. Powered by solar energy, it'll explore the moon's surface and transmit data back to Earth over a two-week period. In fact, the mission is short-lived because when the area where it works passes into the sun's shadow, it'll stop working. This mission could enable ISRO to make a considerable contribution to current scientific knowledge. The Indian state is the fourth country after the USA, Russia, and China to have reached the moon. But it's the first to have landed near the lunar south pole, a little explored area. Shortly after the mission began, the first conclusive results were announced. Sulfur, iron, chromium, and titanium are found in the lunar soil. This is important information which will undoubtedly help us to better understand the history of our satellite and envisage the installation of future lunar bases. It's a real feat and a source of pride for the Indians, given that four years earlier, the same mission had failed. Compared with American missions which arrived on the moon in just a few days, the Chandrayaan-3 rocket took six weeks. This is due to the fact that it had to circumnavigate the Earth several times to gain enough speed to reach the moon. India's other achievement in this mission was to carry it out at lower costs than other countries. Indeed, the cost of the mission is estimated at only $74.6 million. However, ISRO's budget has increased considerably in recent years. Nevertheless, for the year 2023, the Indian Space Research Organization has a budget of $1.6 billion, compared with $25 billion for NASA and 7.08 billion euros for the European Space Agency, or ESA. But how does it do it? In fact, India reproduces and adapts existing space technology for its own purposes. What's more, the country has a huge pool of qualified engineers who are often paid less than in the USA. Then on September 2nd, the Aditya mission, Sun in Hindi, was announced. It consists of a 1.5 ton satellite equipped with solar panels. It's equipped with seven modules using electromagnetic field and particle detectors. It'll be 1.5 million kilometers from Earth and its mission will be to observe the sun. More specifically, it'll be interested in the outer layers of the sun, the photosphere and chromosphere. Over a five-year period, ISRO hopes to better understand and predict the sun's meteorology, 
This is of particular interest as it would help to protect satellites, in particular from solar winds and storms. India has also assured us that they will soon be sending men into space. This would be incredible, given that so far only the USSR, Russia, the USA, and China have been able to do so. The first flight without astronauts is scheduled for early 2024, and the first flight with astronauts for 2025. So we can see that space missions are multiplying, and that India is rapidly establishing itself as an essential space power. But why is India investing so heavily in space exploration? What are their goals? We'll explain. There are a number of reasons including strategic, scientific, and economic for India's intention to conquer space. First of all, the main objective is to develop technologies that move the country forward. As mentioned before, ISRO's mission is to make life easier for the Indian population, as well as helping the national economy. This includes Earth observation and environmental data collection, as well as the development of a series of communication satellites. So you could say that the main reason is the development of the nation in general. In fact, as you've probably gathered by now, a country of 1.4 billion inhabitants doesn't just want to become a space power, but a power in its own right, whether in international politics, economics, or technology. India has a long tradition of scientific and technological research. In IT, for example, where Tata Consultancy Services, aka TCS, is one of the world's largest IT services companies, or its pharmaceutical industry, which makes India one of the world's leading producers of medicine. These are just a few examples of why the space sector is not overlooked. Nor should we overlook the fact that successfully completing complex and ambitious space missions is excellent for the country's image, especially internationally. It reinforces India's position and prestige as a major world power. A successful mission, such as the Chandrayaan-3 rocket, generates excellent media coverage and raises the country's profile. India is not only admired for its achievements, but also strengthens its nationalism and raises its profile on the world stage. In this way, the Indian nation can strengthen its position in international negotiations and strategic alliances. What's more, developing space technology offers significant economic opportunities, both nationally and internationally. It can attract investment, create jobs, and develop partnerships with other countries. There's no longer any doubt that India is fast becoming a major space power. Lately, the country has been surprising us with its extraordinary space exploration, such as Chandrayaan-3, which enabled India to become the first nation to land on the moon's south pole, or the Aditya mission which observes the sun's meteorology. Today, India continues to develop its space technology, not only through excellent resource management, but also through its achievements in the fields of communications, earth observation, planetary exploration, and launch capability. There is even talk of sending astronauts. Even if the reasons for this space craze are vast, becoming a world power and having a say on the international chessboard by reaping the scientific, economic, and strategic benefits is the main reason. Today, India is demonstrating its ability to compete with the great space nations. It can thus strengthen its image and improve the lives of its people. Although India has often been sidelined when it comes to space, it is now showing us that it still has a lot to show us.